Well, it started almost uh, as a small joke around a boardroom in terms of, yes, we can, why can't we? And we approached Village and they're so progressive and cool that they, they really wanted to be part of this story. So we uh, started breaking it down and, and, and made it happen. This project was making beer out of treated wastewater. We're always interested in doing new projects with new people and the Aqua collaboration seemed like a natural fit. And it was an interesting challenge, to be honest, like to, to be able to take water directly from the sewer system, essentially, and recondition it to be made into a beer was very challenging. With Alberta Health Services, worked on a water quality plan that ensured that all the technology that we used to treat this water was running optimally. Um, then uh, secondarily, we had to go through a process of um, demonstrating uh, pathogen log reductions. In addition, we then uh, followed up with Canadian drinking water guideline testing. Despite the fact we tested for over 80 parameters to determine that this water is potable, uh, there's still a mental hurdle to get over of, of how inherently gross this could be. The yuck factor associated with using wastewater is real. Um, it's not necessarily justified by science, but it, it is actually, you know, real and, and the perception is, is, is legitimate, it really is more of a, of a mindset than a, than a reality. We know this water was safe, we know the beer is going to be safe, we stand behind our process. We were really excited we could get this project complete for World Water Day because it really speaks directly to, yes we can, there's things we can do better. We only have one earth and we have to take care of it, so uh, anything that we can do to reduce the amount we take away from the earth and improve the condition of what we're putting back into the Earth systems, that can only benefit humanity.